peeps, it's Knox and my co-host Virgil. Ha. And we're back. I know it's been a while. We've only had a few little tiny videos, but uh, we're back with a very exciting unboxing. On the new table. From Diamond Painting Fanatics. On our new table, yes. Our new dedicated filming table. No longer have to clear my diamond paintings and craft stuff off just to film. <laughs> the whole seven minutes it takes every time. <laughs> Plus loading it back up is actually worse. <laughs> but anyway, before we get too much further into this video, I do have a few things to cover. First things first, I do have neuropathy in my hands. It can make me make weird stretchy motions sometimes during the course of the video. It's just me trying to get out pain, swelling, kinks. I am not signaling for help, so please don't send rescue. Secondly, I do have several people who live in my household may not realize they're filming, especially in our new location as we're also in a different room in the house. <laughs> And instead of it being my own personal space, we were in a communal space, so anyone can walk in. Exciting. So yeah, if they do, they'll come in and just say hi. And thirdly, and most importantly, my channel supports LGBT, QIA+, Black Lives Matter, women's rights, neurodiversity, body positivity, freedom of religion, including the freedom to have no religion, diversity, and inclusiveness in general. If this is something that bothers you, I'm going to have to ask you to not like, not comment, and not subscribe. Just go find a different channel. Otherwise, for those who stayed, welcome to Punks and Crafts. So my intro is extra important for this one because we're gonna show off the canvas that I'm gonna do for the Punked Out Diamonds 23 event, which also has some very pertinent meaning for what we're doing with it this year. For those of you who don't know, there's a lot of legislation going on right now that is heavily anti-trans and anti-LGBT and I don't like it. And um, I've never pro proclaimed to not be political on my channel. <laughs> uh, so I'm not going to pretend to not be political now. Um, these are the lives of my friends, family, and personal self on the line, and people I respect all across the country. These are human beings we're arguing about. I don't like it. I don't want to be arguing. So I'm going to do something about it. Because as a punk from Punks and Crafts doing a punk event, the best thing we can do is do something about it. <laughs> now, I'm also kind of broken and pain ridden and disabled and the kind of disabled that makes it so that I can't, you know, go out and protest or do other things. What I can do is run events that can do charity raffles. <laughs> Yay. And we can get some money for those who can do more than I can. <laughs> they can't do more than a lot of us can. Because let's face it, most of us are not in a place where we can go storm the streets to save our people. <laughs> but we can help out in little ways like passing along information, donating a little bit of money, and keeping up awareness so people don't feel like they're isolated, alone, and unsupported. So if you're interested in this event and the pertaining raffles, you don't have to even participate in the actual crafting portion of the event. Come join us on the Facebook group, follow the hashtag on Instagram, whatever works best for you, and look for the raffles, you can participate. I swear I'll try to actually get some diamond painting done this time. <laughs> this is also an all craft event. So if you do want to participate, you can do adult coloring. You can do painting. You can do digital artwork. You can make something really cool with popsicle sticks. I don't really care as long as you have fun. If someone does something with popsicle <laughs> sticks, please tag me. I want to see this. I do too. We should make something with popsicle sticks. <laughs> I'm going to challenge us to make something with popsicle sticks. Assuming we remember we have really bad ADHD. <laughs> Editor's note, please remember to grab popsicle sticks. <laughs> so um, I'm not going to go over all the rules of the event as I've already done that in a video that I will try to remember to put up there in the eye. If I forget, please put that down in the comment section and let me know and I will fix it. Um, and also you can scroll through my videos and find the video yourself if you, you know, don't mind doing so. So it won't be very far down. <laughs> no, I think I just I might have done one video after it. Maybe. I'm not even sure. We've been gone for a while. <laughs> yeah, um, worldly trauma in coaching on life. Don't really have a ton of energy. But I'm trying to get it back. And we're going to do it by overcompensating and being really hyper tonight. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, this one's also cool because I've never gotten a kit from Diamond Painting Fanatics before. And there's two in here. And they're both my art. <laughs> Ooh. So, one I intend to do for... Lindsay's uh, Alice in a Winter Wonderland event in January. What I'm going to do for my own event. I have no clue what's in here. <laughs> We're going to find out. 
All right, I'm gonna try to open this without cutting anything inside. Or without doxing us. That's on the other side. <laughs> yep. I'm glad I'm being careful because this is all pressed right up against the bag. Glad I didn't grab the big scissors then. See, I told you, little scissors. They, they, they leave more room for my clumsiness. Ugh. <laughs> okay, we have to go both directions. This I can be a little sloppier with because there is bubble wrap. Does that Goodbye count bag. as bubble wrap? It is. It's a bubble. It's just a long, tubey bubble. All right. More tape. You Evil dreaded tape. enemy. Evil tape. Oh, I broke some of the, the bubble wrap. How dare you. That, that tube has deflated. All right. So there's our canvases, our drills for each one, and two toolkits. Now, I may be mistaken, but from what I hear, there are some additions you get in the toolkits if you are a UK resident, Ooh. which I am not, <laughs> because it can go to Cindy first, which she can make adjustments to. I may be wrong. Do not quote me on that, but maybe ask. So you can see everything without me opening the bag. It comes with a purple squishy some metal tweezers, two pads of wax, a white boat, a pin, and does that look like seven? No, it's a seven placer. It looks like a multi-placer I'm gonna steal from you. <laughs> I thought you had enough seven placers. Uh-oh, we're gonna need more seven placers. <laughs> you gave me plenty of four placers. I gave you seven placers too. You told me to stop. <laughs> All right, let's look at canvases. We got little black rubber bands that I am too incompetent to deal with. Okay, let's start with the sticker sheets. These are in fact sticker sheets. Ooh. So you can cut them and put them directly on your label makers. So this is the one I'm gonna do for the event. Um, it is called Worth Fighting For. I put a lot of extra special attention to this one, added some bricking with rainbow effect to uh, have a um, Stonewall remembrance moment. Um, if you don't know what Stonewall is, I would suggest researching it as it is a very huge, uh, important part of the history of obtaining LGBT rights. So, but to stick to the diamond painting, this one has 50 colors and looks like four ABs. That's pretty cool. I didn't have to pay any extra for ABs. It just came with ABs. Fancy. And it is a 60 by 60 round. The other one is the Mad Hatter. It's a 40 by 60 in squares because I wanted one of each. And it is 44 colors with three ABs. Yes, three ABs. So, super cool. Which one do you want to see first, Virgil? Um, whatever one comes out first. That would be Mad Hatter. <laughs> Although, congrats. I'm having trouble. <laughs> congrats. So I'm gonna roll this backwards. It is on poured glue, so I can roll it backwards without worrying about damaging the glue. Do not do this with double-sided adhesive. Yes, it will pull and stretch the glue in funny ways. Sometimes you get away with it, but you never know when you're gonna fail, so it's better not to provoke that. There we go. So, now as always, rendering looks darker until you put all the fancy drills on it. <laughs> and the snoot has been booped. I have done my duty. That is all, thank you very much. <laughs> it's on a very soft canvas, very um, pliable, so it's gonna flatten out real easy. There is a legend on the bottom left and the top right. Um, it is a little bit tiny, just because um, I've never done one from Diamond Painting Fanatics, so I'm going to run you through what we've got. So it is a little hard to see from a distance, but it is very clear, which is nice. And you get a look at our drill field, if you can see around the ring light, which 
for the most part seems pretty clear. I am struggling a little bit with that H symbol because it's also right next to the N symbol and they're both dark on blue, which I have a hard time seeing. <laughs> I don't think it's anything a light pad won't fix though. And we just got a couple of those. Yeah. We've got, there it goes, the Mad Hatter 40 by 60. I am a diamond painting fanatic at the top. Copyright me. Fancy. <laughs> at the bottom. And the website on the other side of the bottom. So lots of bragging, bra bragging, branding and tagging turn into bragging, <laughs> which actually is not all that incorrect. <laughs> So super pretty. I'm going to turn the ring light off, see if we can get a, there we go. So it's a little dark, but um, yeah, lighting in here is an issue we're working on. We were all excited to get the table. Didn't think about the lighting. Yeah. <laughs> we're still working <laughs> things out. But yeah, some pretty good detail there. And this was the smallest size offered. So Anything bigger than this is going to be even more detailed. That's really exciting. Let's take a look at the drills that came with it. So looks like we not only get a sticker sheet. Oh, I need my ring light back on. Not only do we get a sticker sheet, but we get an inventory sheet. So you don't have to worry about cutting up all those stickers and then losing track of the inventory because you'll have that on a separate piece of paper, which that actually has happened to me where I cut up the sheet for the stickers and needed a sheet. <laughs> I don't remember why. It's been a while now. All right, so I printing assume... error. I I don't remember now. I really don't. So it's it's gonna have everything the sticker sheet does, just on paper printed inventory sheet style. So, forty four colors, three ABs. The picture again. But well, we want to see drills. They're all pre-baggied and see how they're labeled. So looks like they're labeled both by the uh, the number on the inventory sheet. So number 18, let's verify that is correct. 18 should be 798. It is in fact 798. And it tells you the weight. So basically how many drills are in here. And Let's see how these squares look, because squares are always iffy to me with new companies. Always get a little concerned, but... I'm going to set this down for a second. Virgil's going to run away. I'm getting a tray. <laughs> Hold your horses. Let's try this with a darker color. Darker colors tend to be more mass-produced and therefore have the most errors. So if the dark colors look good, then the rest are much more likely to look good. So no static. That's pretty nice. I've been having a lot of static issues with certain kits lately. Not from this company because again it's the first time I've ordered from this company. So we're gonna shake that around, tap it down. So what we're gonna look for is a lot of large gaps because that's usually little tabbies that are keeping them from sticking together which is why they don't uh, or why they start popping. I don't really see any gaps. They roughly look all about the same size, which is good. They're moderately shiny. The uh, other colors look shinier. So again, mass produced has a tendency to be given less attention. <laughs> At least that's the theory. So yeah, these look good. I am hopeful. Let's get the drills back in there, baggy and Virgil back his tray. Hey, I only spilled one this time. <laughs> only one. I should, maybe I should finish closing the bag before I say that. <laughs> there you go. All right, so I'm only gonna do this for this canvas because uh, there's a lot more colors in the other canvas and I just wanna get an idea that everything's in there because it doesn't look like it's, it's not in order number wise. So we're gonna make sure all of these are here. I'm gonna fast forward this for you guys so you don't have to sit through all the boring shuffling. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay, we get to sit through it though. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so we have all of them. And if you see that there are three missing, it's because I'm holding onto them. Wait, one of these is not an AB. <laughs> I didn't need to hold onto that one. Were we supposed to have three ABs? We were. That's why I was holding on to it. I anticipated it being an AB. This one is not an AB for some reason, though. So we got two ABs. No big deal. All right, so it looks like we have 3865, which, you know, if you're Diamond Art Club fans, it's 141. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot escape. Actually, in this canvas, I think it makes a lot of sense. This is a good color to be adding some AB to. And then we've also got AB 3756, which is kind of like a minty green. And these look very pretty. I'm very happy. And there's a nice size bag of both. So we have all of the drills. No problems there. I'm very excited. I get to work on, on my own art for... Lindsay's event. Fancy. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna movie magic and switch to the other canvas. Undo movie magic. I found the other AB. It was marked as 42, but somehow it's six. It's 208. Um, so it was supposed to be 3837 was the AB, I think. I can't see. <laughs> nope, it was supposed to be 208. <laughs> it's number six on here th <laughs> too, so. The, the numbering is in fact correct. The symbol will be correct. It's just not in order on the side here. All right, so we found our third AB, purple, which will go really well because I bet you it goes in the, like the rows and stuff I have off to the side here, which is a little hard to see right now, but I bet you when you put, once you put the drills down, it'd be really easy to see. All right, movie magic. All right, on to worth fighting for, which I was so excited for. I put a lot of work into this one, trying to uh, get the emotions and the coloring just right and this brickwork with just the right neon -y tones in between. I'm so happy with how it came out. <laughs> like, so happy. There's a lot of color blocking in here, too, so that's nice. Oh, I think I hear an asher. <laughs> We might get to hear it, or see Asher. Well, not see Asher, but yeah, I was right the first time. Hear Asher. You want to say hi to everybody? Oh, he ran away. <laughs> okay, well, he ran away. <laughs> there was an Asher. So, I'm not going to pull these all out, but I want you guys to check out this color palette. So pretty. And these are the rounds. Look at that pink, it's so bright. And the red next to it is too. So, lots of 310. And so, if you're not a 310 fan, I apologize, but um, that does mean this will hopefully kind of work up quickly with the color blocking. You still have a lot of vibrance. I, I did mix that dark tone in specifically to make these colors brighter. <laughs> Loving boobs. So, yeah, we've got four ABs in this one. Are they in order this time? <laughs> Where, where's the, the paper? I'm going to look this time. Okay, yeah, 42, 44, 47, and 50. So, they're not in order. <laughs> I'm just laughing maniacally. So, again, we've got, like, that minty green color. And we've got this kind of limey yellow green lime-esque green i can stop using limey that sounds weird we got the white there and turquoise it looks like god i was hoping for that that was one of the colors i wanted to see in i'm surprised i found that <laughs> you're getting a sharp eye kid so now if only i could apply that to my everyday life yeah. Like finding salsa. We, we, we can only ask for so much in our lives. <laughs> so, like yeah. finding salsa? <laughs> <laughs> you found it. <laughs> After like five minutes. We had a giant tub of salsa in our fridge and Virgil couldn't find it. <laughs> it was right in front. <laughs> so I'm going to be working on this pretty much immediately. If you want to see the uh, progress on it, you can either follow me on Instagram, which uh, the link to that is down in the description box, or you can follow me putting up posts in the um, Punked Out Diamonds 23 
hashtag Punked Out Diamonds 23 event Facebook group, link of which is also down in the description box. And I am working on one of mom's arts. Yep. Virgil is also working on one of my art pieces from a company that had to unfortunately close due to the owner's health, but um, still great product. Um, the art is too. I was more referring to the diamond painting itself, but um, very pinky neon. It's a, it's a neon fairy. So if you want to see that one put together, also follow on Instagram and the Facebook group. I swear I'm going to try sometime this month. <laughs> Virgil got a job a while back and um, has had motivation issues for diamond painting, which is understandable. And the fact that they actually want me to work hours, which I'm not turning down. Yeah, I, I didn't realize you could work no hours. I mean, you can, but that's not called working. <laughs> I mean, I've got people on rotation at work that are working zero hours. Oh, I forgot the thing you need to measure if this is true to size. It looks true to size. <laughs> All right, so instead of that, we're doing it by my hands. <laughs> so it's one hand, two hand, or hand, four I, hand. I will measure it after we're done filming here, and I will put it down in the uh, across here that it is uh, true to size or not. Let you know what the measurements were. Um, this one was supposed to be a sixty by sixty, and it definitely looks like a sixty by sixty. But I will let you know one way or the other. So I think, honestly, that's, uh, oh, sticky test, and then we gotta go, because we gotta get Asher to bed here soon. Sticky test. Pretty sticky. <laughs> Thank you. I was trapped. Cool. So, I'm really happy with this. Very excited to start it. So definitely pop over to Diamond Painting Fanatics. There is a lot of interesting artwork by a lot of interesting artists. Um, I think you will Whatever style you're into, you're going to find something there that's very, very interesting, very cool. Um, definitely check out my artist page, too, if you want to see what else I got. I've got two more of uh, my Pride series on there as well as a uh, couple of others. There's two of my Wonderland series available there, so one more other than Mad Hatter. There's three total with her, um, but the third one isn't quite out yet. I will let you guys know when it is. So uh, do you have anything else to add? Nope. All right. So thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we're glad to be back. Hopefully we can uh, slowly work our way back into our old schedule. I'm not going to immediately jump back into it, but we'll get there. So uh, we missed you and uh, glad to be back and uh, hope you guys enjoy the event. And if you're not part of the event, at least come join the raffles. And if you don't want to do that, just have a good time. <laughs> Whatever it is you're doing. We will talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.